off-grid cabin. Oh, we got a nice fire going. Some nice blue color. Hey guys, Mark from Blue Sea Bushcraft and Outdoors. Well, I'm gonna go on a little adventure today. I'm gonna to go up to my brother's off-grid cabin. So we're leaving luxury with power and all the good stuff to, to completely off-grid. So we'll see you there. Well, I reached the pathway in here. It's going to be a little rough. Um, it rained hard overnight too, so this should be nice and slippery and muddy. So anyway, uh, watch me <laughs> head in on this crappy road. Too bad. Not yet anyway. It gets worse down here. So these uh, trails are skidoo trails in the winter. A lot of quarters and side by side guys use them right now. But uh, it is a designated skidoo trails here in Nova Scotia. They filled some holes in here, but get washed. Looks like this one. Yeah, we've had nothing but rain here the last while. It's just brutal. Everything's soft and wet. Washouts, flooding. This isn't as bad as I thought. But like I said, it gets worse come up around the corner here. You probably see on the video too, there's a lot of damage from Hurricane Fiona from last year. Trees tipped over. It took a lot to clean the snowmobile trails up for last winter here. Oh yeah, she made some money. Lots of quad tracks here, ATVs. Careful that one doesn't run into me. It's actually 
better than I thought. Thought it'd be uh, more wet and muddy. It's still a goat path, but it's navigable. Six six north is this trail. That's a designated snowmobile trail. I think it might come up on the ATV maps too. Can't remember. Yeah, uh, one of my videos there. I came up through here and took some video down here with the snowmobile one I did, and uh, the snow was really bad last year week. Usually we get more snow over this side, but we didn't. Angervine Lake to my left. And this is a 262 North for the uh, Route 6 Snowmobile Club. off-grid cabin. They're all sitting down there in the front. This is completely off-grid, no power. Propane stove, um, generator hook up if you want it, and solar. And my brother's working on more and more adding to it. So you'll see some snowmobile videos coming up this winter. So here my uh, brother's got some rough cut lumber here, we're going to redo his porch. So this here, we're going to redo the whole thing and eventually screen it in as well so you can sit out there and not get eaten alive by black flies and mosquitoes and as deer flies as we call them, they're annoying as hell. We got Maxi down here, the old boy, the old hoss, how you doing bud? You're a Newfoundland lab, aren't you buddy? Yeah, good boy, getting old aren't you? You like the outdoors though, don't you, buddy? So yeah, we'll uh, tune in later for more of this, and then I'll give you a tour in a little while. Well, we uh, made a trip to the lumber yard, so we got lumber for the uh, new screen porch. So we're gonna go uh, try to put some of that up today. Might not get it done. Probably won't get it done, but uh, we'll do as much as we can for a good stuff. So my brother and my nephew are. Uh, taking off some boards now we just uh, leveled up one side and we're going to put a new post on the right here uh, the original one is uh, you see here on the bottom here is rotten so we're going to replace that so we're going to put it all the way down to the bottom and insert it into that uh, cement uh, 
Well, we're getting some progress here on the front porch, the screen porch it's going to be. So we just got this railing on to tear off some boards. So we're building that frame for the boards down here. They're going to overlap. We're getting there. More to come. Well, hey guys, sorry about this. The GoPros do this once in a while, the sound cuts out. But anyway, here we're uh, frying up some mushrooms. We got some uh, deer steak and some moose meat, moose from Cape Breton actually, uh, that uh, my uh, niece's uh, boyfriend harvested. So we're enjoying that here. It was delicious. It just melted in your mouth. It was so good. The moose was uh, out of this world. We were slicing it up into thin strips and we were just all eating it. It was really good with the mushrooms as well. Oh, we got a nice fire going. Some nice blue colors in there. Got a lot of work done today on the camp. Uh, the screening porch is almost done. Well, I should say almost done, but we got a lot of work done on it. I'm going to try to get a lot of it done tomorrow before I have to head back to the city for work. But we're having a good time. I'll give you a tour of inside of the camp tomorrow. It's work in progress, so it's not up to the fire yet, but we're getting there. And my brother will have this place for the future. And hopefully I'll film some videos here in the winter skidooing because I'm right on the skidoo trail. I actually took my sled by here in one of my videos there this past winter. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be staying here and film some more videos for you. And won't have to keep carting my sled around and do some videos from the camp. Anyway, it's back here behind that light. More to come, guys. Thanks for watching. There's the boys coming back on their quad. The old Honda. What's your Honda? Honda 400 Portax. 400 Portax. the boys are cooking some uh, meat here. Let's get a close up of that. Zoom in there, bring it up close to the cam. Oh, there you go. It's got pepper and some, uh, what is it? Uh, Polish sausage. sausage. Okay, sausage. Fancy word for tabasa. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we're cooking that up. We're gonna eat that right now. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, get Hey guys, day two here. Been busy at the uh, off grid cabin here, my brothers. Anyway, we got quite a bit done. Um, we got all the posting today and I did a lot of it yesterday, but we're putting up the uh, siding here on the front. Looks pretty good. Don't mind the mess, it's in progress. A little rough. Put the door on today, that was here, so we uh, reclaimed that. I guess it needs a little work, but uh, we did put that on. Still gotta do some framing on the door, but we did this all in here, like where the slat siding is going on the back side here. And there's steps here, so we just box this in for now. He may keep the steps, we're not sure yet. And inside, got the couch, big room here. That's a hide-a-bed. 
Nice fireplace here. Got Max down here, panting away. Nice propane stove. Brother hooked up a pump to the sink. There's got a little tap here. And he puts the water underneath the sink. Kitchen table, obviously. Kitchen area. And then over in here, it's like kind of like the, I say the master bedroom, I guess you want to call it. Big room. Then here, it's the bathroom, of course. And this is a, like a bio toilet. Put like sawdust and things and stuff in it and biodegrades. And the other place is this room. It's got two beds in it. Got the solar charger in here. Comes off the roof. Charges the battery. So that's the inside, and then there's a whole kind of storage area underneath. There's the rough cut lumber we're using for the, the front there. So it's all metal sheeting on the outside, as you can see. Come down the back here. There's a toilet kind of vent kind of thing comes out, I guess. And he's gonna use this for uh, water storage eventually. But like I said, we're working on it here. And then it's got like a big storage and crawl space under here. And there's a bunch of wood under there for the winter to burn. This is the Dewar River. It, uh, Runs from Angevine Lake all the way down to the Tatamagish Bay. It runs down that way. Of course, the cabin's up on the hill. Beautiful. Hope you're liking this one. Hey guys, well I'm done. Have to head back to the city, gotta work. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, my brother's uh, off-grid cabin. It's a little messy, but it'll slowly come together. Anyway, like and subscribe. And Blue Sea out, live off the land.